Today, we're starting a new series. Oh, this is spooky already, guys. What a way to start the show, wow. Oh, she's doing some egg magic. I'm ready for these Lannisters to just... <laughs> I have a feeling I'm probably gonna cry, and it is a mistake to not have tissues here. Oh well. Oh my god. Yes. No. <gasps> Enough. I get it. Here we go again with winter. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching Game of Thrones. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you are new. Today, we're starting a new series and this is one that has been suggested to me a lot. Somehow, this is a series that escaped me all of my life. I think what ended up happening with Game of Thrones um, is basically that once it, the ball got rolling on the series and I started to realize how behind I was, given that I never started watching it, I just kind of got overwhelmed and figured, ah, it's so much of a commitment, uh, and so I never watched it. And now, I have a lot of people suggesting it to me, and I'm really kind of excited to jump into this one because I kind of have a feeling that I'll like it. When it comes to the fantasy genre of things like dragons and sword fighting and knights and things like that, I, I tend to get into that stuff a bit more easily than some other fantasy style genres. So I have a feeling I will kind of like this one, but. I don't know, there's definitely some mixed reviews out there given that a lot of people don't really like the way that the series ended from what I've heard. But I also have friends that continue to watch the show to this day even though they know how it ended and um, they still like to revisit episodes and I still got this one suggested quite a fair amount. So I'm gonna go into this one with an open mind. I'm gonna go into it as optimistically as I can. I'm personally just excited to be jumping into something new and totally different on my channel. I know that there are a lot of seasons, so I just wanna say right off the bat, if you're concerned about how many episodes there are in this series and how long it's gonna take me to get through, I did think about that. I did intentionally wait until I had some help from some editors before signing on for a bigger series. So I know the number of episodes might scare some of you guys, but I do have plans to do multiple episodes a week on Patreon and then do condensed versions for YouTube because personally, I don't think it's necessary to do a one episode reaction for every single episode on YouTube. I know some people would like that kind of thing. I know real fans of the series would probably enjoy that to see all the nuances and all the different reactions to specific moments. But I don't like to bog my channel down with too much of one thing. I've said that regarding Star Wars. I've said that regarding Marvel. But likewise, I don't want to bog down my whole channel with Game of Thrones as well because, I mean, doing one or two videos for each season of Game of Thrones is still gonna be quite a fair amount of videos. I feel like if I did a video for every single episode, it would get to be a lot and really overwhelming for the folks over here who maybe aren't super big fans of the show. So that is my plan. My plan is to power through these episodes as fast as I can while still enjoying it, while still taking my time and making sure that I'm watching other stuff in between because I think that that's important. I think that that will help me enjoy everything as much as possible. So if this isn't your cup of tea, don't worry. I'm not gonna be taking my time with this one. I'm definitely gonna be powering through it. If you would have voted for something else in the poll, then uh, make sure to click my Patreon link in the description bar down below. I post my full length reactions over there to everything we watch over here on this channel, as well as do polls from time to time that help me decide what I watch next over here. I will say that I have seen two episodes of Game of Thrones in total. I've only seen two two, cannot tell you what one of them was because I truly don't even remember it. And then I did see an episode in the last season because again, I had friends invite me over to a party that they were having. It might've been the very first episode of the last season, to be honest. Again, had no idea what was going on, no idea who anyone was, but I remember that episode was really captivating and there was a lot of action and it was fun to watch, but I had no idea who anybody was. So. I'm going into this one pretty much mostly blind. There are a couple things that I've heard about. I've heard about the Red Wedding. I don't really know what the Red Wedding is, but if I had to assume, it sounds like a really bloody event. <laughs> it's called the Red Wedding. So I would assume that that is gonna be a sadder moment when I get to that. 
I've heard the phrase winter is coming, which I had no idea. I still have no idea what that means, um, but I am seeing now on HBO Max that it's the title of the first episode. So I wonder if it's something that they're gonna say a lot through the series or if it's just the title of the first episode. I don't know. It looks like the thumbnail of the first episode, it looks like it's Sean Bean. So I'm excited about that, but I know from things that I've heard, I shouldn't get too excited because Sean Bean tends to die really quickly in everything he does. So <laughs> I shouldn't get too attached to him probably. But yeah, all in all, I mean, I don't really know too much. I've, I've heard there's like a really evil king at one point who's just like so annoying and he'll probably die. And a lot of people have told me that they're worried about me watching this series because a lot of people die during this series. But honestly, guys, I've watched so many pieces on my own time um, where tragic things happen. I've watched movies that have horrible, sad, tragic endings that don't get any real resolution. So um, I'm okay with sitting through it and crying and being a wreck. If you are okay with witnessing that, I can handle it. I can handle the tears. I mean, I survived Serenity. So uh, I think I can survive Game of Thrones, hopefully. <laughs> I'm just really excited to be jumping into something new with you guys. It feels like the start something really exciting every time I get to start a new series with you guys it's like this magical time where we're jumping into a whole new story arc I really do love series I love shows a lot because they really allow me to get attached to characters and watch them progress over a long period of time don't get me wrong we've watched some amazing movies over here on this channel but shows and series really do tend to be my bread and butter because I just love characters I love actors I love plot lines that are centered around people and their relationships and watching them change and grow as people over the course of a long-term series. So I really am excited to be jumping into something that's a bit more long-term where I really get to get attached and see characters progress. So with that being said, guys, I think we should just jump on into this one. So if you're ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the series. This is a pretty stark open. Ooh, that wide shot showing them way down at the end of the tunnel was kind of spooky. Made me feel unsettled. Whoa. All right, this looks cold as hell, but kind of beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. Winter is coming is the title of this episode. Looks like winter's already here, my dude. Wait, why, why did he leave them? They're going off in separate directions? What's happening? Oh, this is spooky already, guys. I don't like scary things. Is that a fire in there? Oh God, what is it? I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Are those dead bodies? <gasps> Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh no, guys, get the f out of there, man. Oh no. Your dead men seem to have moved camp. Oh my god, they moved? No, don't make this guy go off by himself again. Why does he, he's gonna die. This guy's gonna die. Why does he constantly have to go off by himself? That's not fair. Is he like the intern? I have chills. I have actual chills right now. Oh, he's gonna die. You're dead, son. You're screwed. <gasps> what is that? Is that the intestines? <gasps> there it is, behind him. Behind him, behind him, behind him. You're dead. Wait, is this guy actually gonna be the only one to survive? Is this guy gonna like, somehow? No, he's dead, isn't he? I was being too optimistic before. Oh my god, she's a zombie? They're alive now? Is that why they're all gone? Because they came back to life? Oh, y'all are done, man. Y'all are done. Oh my god. You guys should have listened to the intern, man. Wow. What a way to start the show. Wow. Winter zombies. Great. Love it. No way. They let him go? What? How did he make it back? How did he make it back? How did he make it back? They didn't kill him? Really? I'm so shocked this man is alive. Oh, Sean! Hey, Sean! I think this is Arya Stark. I think I've heard her name, am I right? Hey! Oh, never mind. <gasps> oh, it's her! Oh, she's much better at this than she is at the needlepoint or whatever she was doing. And winter is coming. Oh, God. There it is. Winter is coming. Oh, don't kill this poor man. Like, really? I just don't get it. Like, can't you make exceptions? <gasps> Puppies! Wait! But the wolf is dead! Holy <laughs> Holy <laughs> What the <laughs> is happening in these woods? It's a dire wolf. A dire wolf? What's a dire wolf? How is that, how is that different? Oh God. That's a quick death. No, don't kill him! No, no, no! 
One for each of the Stark children. Yeah, come on. The direwolf is a sigil of your house. Have a heart. Seriously. God dang it, man. Jeez, you're trying to kill puppies. My God. What about you? I'm not a Stark. Oh, he's not? Who is he? Uh, Ron to the litter. That one's yours, Snow. He's called Ghost, right? Because I've seen people name their huskies after it. I did hear that this series sparked a lot of people adopting huskies, unfortunately, because then they couldn't handle the huskies and then they return them to the rescues because people are awful. Oh, is that necessary? Jeez. Oh, these are the Lannisters. I heard that name too. Whatever John Arryn knew or didn't know, it died with him. Know what? Knew what? John Arryn is dead. Oh, that's the guy we just saw, huh? Is that a friend of his? He was like a father to you. Oh. The king rides for Winterfell. If he's coming this far north, there's only one thing he's after. Oh god, what is he after? What does he want? Who's the king? Yeah, that's totally Joffrey, isn't it? Or am I wrong? Because I just remember there being an evil blonde guy from what I heard about. I don't, again, I don't know what he does, but I just heard he's like insufferable. Or is he not the king? Somebody else has to be the king. This must be the king, yeah. Oh, this is, is this his wife? Your name is? Arya. Arya, yes. That's Jamie Lannister, the queen's twin brother. Would you please shut up? These siblings are so sassy with each other. Lord Eddard Stark, I would name you the Hand of the King. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, that's what he wants him to do. Oh, God, I don't think he wants the job. I have a son, you have a daughter. We'll join our houses. Wait, are you seriously setting up this marriage already? Oh, God, right, that makes sense. I, for, uh, I just forget that this is how it was, you know? Oh, Daenerys. This is totally Daenerys, isn't it? This is totally her. Wait, who is this guy? Who is this guy to her? Because I thought they were related and now I'm quite concerned. Who is this guy to her? Let me write the history of my reign, sweet sister. He just said sister. Jesus Christ, is that her brother? Oh my God. Oh, that's awful. The Dothraki are not known for their punctuality. Dothraki, and now we're on to a new name. Oh! I totally remember, uh, oh my god. Are we gonna meet, what's his name? The guy who plays, uh, this guy. Is this like who she's being set up to marry? This is, what's his name? He's, uh, he plays Poseidon, right? Or something, or Aquaman? Aquaman, not Poseidon. Oh god, what's he gonna do? Is he not, is he riding away? If he didn't like her, we'd know. We'd know? I don't want to be his queen. I want to go home. Aww. So do I. I would let his whole tribe you if that's what it took jesus f christ what a lovely thing to say to your sister i have a feeling she's gonna kill her brother at some point you you're ned stark's bastard aren't you wow lovely what the hell do you know about being a bastard all dwarves are bastards in their father's eyes yeah he knows a lot about being bullied and name called winter is coming <laughs> they keep saying that why does he keep saying that like we get it winter's coming what's the big deal a rider in the night from your sister what Oh my God, they keep getting these crazy notes. She says John Aaron was murdered by the Lannisters. Oh, her sister was married to the guy that just died. They murdered the last hand. Now you want Ned to take the job. There are so many things happening. What is happening right now? Eggs! <gasps> are those dragon eggs? Because she becomes Khaleesi, mother of dragons, doesn't she? Can I already tell? I'm going to have to Google stuff, but like carefully so that I don't spoil anything. Oh, is he going? Why can't his wife come with him? I don't want him to leave his wife. Did his wife not really come? <laughs> oh, his puppy. The moment I start to get sad, I see his puppy. Please tell me this kid doesn't fall. Uh-oh, somebody's having Uh-oh, who is it? Stop. Oh no, oh no, don't hurt this little boy. Don't hurt this little boy. Don't hurt him, please don't kill him. The things I do for love. No! <laughs> I could kind of tell he was going to do that the second he let go of him and just stared back at her. I was like, he had this smug look on his face. I was like, I think he's going to kill this little kid and not think twice about it. Is that little kid going to be dead in the next episode? There's no way he survived that, right? Who's going to take care of the dog? <laughs> I have a feeling I'm probably going to cry and it is a mistake to not have tissues here. Oh, well. Look at all these dogs. Oh. Oh, he's sleeping with the dogs, ha <laughs> ha. Oh my God, these are such beautiful dogs. Oh my God, they're so cute. Before you go, you will call on Lord and Lady Stark and offer your sympathies. Oh, he did die. The kid did die. 
Is Bran going to die? <gasps> is Bran clinging to life? Give my regards to the Night's Watch. I'm sure it will be thrilling to serve in such an elite force. And if not, it's only for life. Wow, what a freaking man. I am so ready for this guy to die already. It's been two episodes and I'm ready for him to die. Oh my god, this puppy has grown up so freaking quickly. Whoa, he made a sword for her? Where is she going? Sticking with the pointy end. Sticking with the pointy end. Oh. Oh, is he leaving his siblings good behind? No. They have a sweet relationship. Miss, I feel so bad for this woman. She lost her husband left. Her son is on the verge of death. John is leaving. Snow, whatever his name is. Oh. I feel like the siblings all like like you can see the love for each other even if like he's technically like adopted and like especially with him and Arya that was so moving you know oh I really should have brought tissues in here oh they're saying goodbye now is my mother alive the next time we see each other we'll talk about your mother oh god does that mean he's gonna die guys guys does, does that mean Sean Bean's character is gonna die because he just said the next time we see each other I promise we'll talk about it and it's like what if they just don't see each other again? I feel like that would happen. Oh no. I want to know who his mother is so badly. Your bastard's mother. Oh. Wyla. That's it. Oh wow. Hmm. What's this note? There's so many notes being passed. Daenerys Targaryen has wed some Dothraki horse lord. What of it? Oh god. Wow, this news came quickly. Fire. You stay here, I'll come back. What? Oh, Jesus Christ, guys. We didn't need a fire right now. My God. <gasps> You're not supposed to be here. No! <laughs> the wolf! The wolf is saving him! The wolf just saved him. Holy moly, that wolf made efficient work out of that man. My God. God, what, what was going on? Are they being like raped and pillaged? The village or something? What's happening? I was nine when my mother sold me to the Pleasure House. Oh, nine. I did not touch a man for three years, Khaleesi. Three years? You're still 12. Can you teach me how to make the call happy? Oh, she's getting thicker skin. She's getting a bit tougher. I have a feeling I'm gonna like Daenerys. Oh, geez. Lovely place that you've chosen to settle down. I know I did say that it was pretty on the other side before, but that was before I knew there were creepy zombies on the other side. <laughs> Is she retracing his steps? <gasps> Did she find a hair there? Oh my god, this woman is doing forensics right now. But I would stake my life the Lannisters are involved. This is bad because Ned is off in the kingdom. This is so bad. I think he'll survive, but I'm just wondering when he'll wake up. Oh, here he comes. Oh boy. Oh, he's already naked. <laughs> she's gonna try something new. I'm glad she's taking some power back. Come walk with me. Ugh, don't walk with him. My princess can drink as much as she wants. You guys are not married yet. This is... Oh, he's already so possessive. I don't like it. And he's peer pressuring her to drink. And who are you, boy? He's the butcher's boy. He's my friend. Yeah. Let him exist. F*** off, Joffrey. Run away, kid. Run away. Run away. Run away. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop. Oh, you little f***. <gasps> yeah. Get it. Get this. Oh, don't kill the dog, don't kill the dog, don't kill the dog, don't kill the dog, don't kill the dog. Yeah, Lymeria, I love these wolves, man. I love these wolves. You've got to go. No. They'll kill you for what you did to Joffrey. Oh, no. Dang it, man. I don't like this. I'm only two episodes in and she's got to chase a dog off. I don't like this. That's going to get me more than like anything else, I feel like, because I just love dogs. <laughs> and it just gives me like Fox and the Hound vibes. Oh no, Arya's in hiding. Oh god. The Lannisters found her. Oh no. Where's your other daughter, Ned? Oh god. Jesus Christ, is Sansa gonna lie and throw her sister under the bridge? Sansa, do not lie. She I feel like she's gonna lie. I didn't see. Liar! Liar! This doesn't look good for you, Arya. Did they We catch found her? no trace of the dire wolf, your grace. Thank God. No, so be it. We have another wolf. She's awful. It must be done. Oh God! I'll do it myself. Ned, please do not work for this family. My God! Please just freaking quit. <laughs> the butcher's boy. You rode him down. He ran, not very fast. Wait, they killed him? He was. Oh Jesus! 
They killed the kid? He was just playing with Arya. Oh God, this family. I am ready for all of them to die. Oh, this poor dog did nothing wrong. Is Lady his dog? Is Lady the one that saved Bran? Oh no, this dog saved Bran. Or Brian, I don't, I really don't know what his name is, if it's like Raisin Bran or Brian or what. Is he gonna wake up when this dog is murdered? Is that what's about to happen? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, he woke up. And he's gonna tell everybody what happened. I am ready for that <laughs> to happen, man. Oh man, that was, wow. I have a feeling this series is just gonna be like Natalie crying a lot. <laughs> Is it Brian or Bran? We should, I should probably look that up, huh? Bran, it is Bran. Like Raisin Bran. I couldn't. <laughs> they all went with him and then he just left his wife alone. I just am confused as to why both of his daughters went with him. Like why did Arya go with him, you know? Thank the gods you're here, Stark. Oh, it's this guy, ugh. People have been swinging at me for years, but they always seem to miss. Mm, I'm sure that's the case. These two are gonna face off, aren't they? Because they hate each other. He's not impressed by you, man. You loser. Ugh, I'm ready for these Lannisters to just... <laughs> winter may be coming, but I'm afraid the same cannot be said for my brother. Why do they always say winter is coming? Like, is it just they just really don't like winter? I could imagine, like, saying winter is coming is like hearing Christmas music too early before the holiday season. Like, ugh, people just keep saying winter is coming. It's freaking August, man. Chill out. Ow, please. It's nearly healed. It's ugly. So are you. <laughs> You are my darling boy, and the world will be exactly as you want it to be. Oh, great. What a wonderful mom. Sansa will be married to Joffrey someday. Oh, no. But how can you let her marry someone like that? Yeah, it's a good question, girl. They don't really have an option, but I wouldn't want my daughter to marry Joffrey. I'm like, I'd be concerned about Arya saying the wrong thing and getting killed. Because clearly this family has no qualms about murdering children. We've been instructed to escort you into the city. How do they know? That was so quick. They found her like instantly. Jeez. My little birds are everywhere. Oh, Jesus. Do you know whose dagger this is? It's mine. I lost this dagger. To whom? Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion. Uh-oh. Maybe I'm not gonna like Tyrion anymore either. Oh, he's really good at fighting. He's got a lot of hatred in his heart, probably. Being called a bastard his whole life. My wife is in Winterfell. Is she? That's all he's gonna say. Is she? Oh boy. Here are the Dothraki. What are they up to? Tell them all to stop. For how long? Until I command them otherwise. Ooh, I like this Daenerys. She, he didn't even have to tell them to stop. They just stopped. <laughs> I am lord of the seven kingdoms. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yes! She is their queen, you piece of shit. I don't want my brother harmed. Huh? He's like, what? Really? Disrespecting our queen. Come on now. I am your king! You are no one's king, man. Why did she wander off to begin with? Was it just to have this scene, have this moment with her brother? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. You walk. I like that this guy is finally getting taken down a peg. Like, you frickin' ass. You deserve it, man. Oh, hey, Snow. Oh, it's ironic that they... Why do they call him Snow? Now I'm just thinking about it. Like, it makes sense, because now he's up at the wall in the winter. Why did they call him Snow before? Why was that what they called him? Whoa, Jesus, they're high up. Oh, my God. They don't have a wall there or nothing, either. You better not slip on the ice. No one turns away a Lannister. Oh, except for Targaryens? Is that what that's supposed to mean? <laughs> what are you doing? When was last time you bleed, Khaleesi? Oh, Jesus Christ, she's pregnant. Oh my God, her friend is so perceptive. She just looked at her boobs and was like, you're pregnant. <laughs> Starks are always right eventually. Winter is coming. So I guess winter doesn't always happen. It just happens sometimes, and when it does, it's brutal. I see. When winter does come, gods help us all if we're not ready. Yeah, I uh, have a feeling you're not gonna be ready. And I have a feeling his sister doesn't give a shit. Oh, she's doing some egg magic. I am ready for these eggs to crack, man. I don't know when they will, but I feel like they will. Mirak. <gasps> she knows? How does she know? Wow, it's so interesting seeing their relationship progress and develop because she started off by being like forced to marry him and it definitely seems like they're more on an even playing field now. Will you stop at Winterfell on your way south? I expect I will. If you see my brother Bran, tell him I miss him. Of course. I don't think he wants to harm Bran because he even said to his brother that he hoped Bran would survive. So I think the guy with the dagger was sent by someone else, not by Tyrion. Who are you? 
your dancing master. Tomorrow you will catch it. <laughs> Tomorrow you will catch it. Wait, oh my god, did her dad find someone to help teach her? The steel must be part of your arm. I like this guy. He's like, must be delicate grip. You never, never drop it. <laughs> She's gonna be such a badass fighter, isn't she? Ha! He just walks away slowly. Oh, did he arrange this? Did her father arrange this? Oh, is it making him nervous? It's bringing him back to war, giving him his PTSD. Unfortunately, it is like a necessary thing. I think it's good. Wow, I didn't cry at the end of this episode. Yay! Wait, did we go back in time? He's walking. We totally went back in time. He's walking. Or is this a dream? Is he having a nightmare? This feels nightmarish already. That bird had a third eye, man. Creepy AF, what the hell? Hold on. Hold on. Does he just repeat his name? Does this man just repeat his name? Start with a yearling. The teacher to respond to the reins and to the boy's voice. Aww. Will I really be able to write? Aww. You will. Aww. See, I like Tyrion, he's a good guy. Tell them your name. Samuel Tarly. Oh, he's already sweating and it's freezing here. Poor dude. Oh, John doesn't like this. John doesn't like this. John, intervene. Oh, no. Looks like the bastard's in low. <laughs> well, your method's not working, man. You're losing soldiers by the day. Go clean the armory. That's all you're good for. That's not true. He's really, really good at fighting. Didn't you just pay attention to what just happened, man? You're not good at teaching people. Oh, this poor soft man. I don't, oh. He's gonna die so soon, isn't he? I'm gonna, they're gonna make me fall in love with him and then they're gonna kill him, aren't they? Till tomorrow, my lord. I've been hoping to talk to you about John Arryn. Oh. What did John want the night before he died? Oh, he came inquiring after a book. You gotta be careful asking all these questions, Ned. I don't want you to get murdered. There was one phrase he kept repeating. <gasps> what was it? Uh, the seed is strong, I think it was. The seed is strong, that's gotta mean something. Oh, hi, Arya. You're just casually balancing here. Can I be Lord of a whole fast? <laughs> you will marry a high lord Ugh. and rule this castle. She doesn't want that. No. Yeah. I love this little girl. Oh God, I love her so much. Please, I hope they don't kill this girl. Oh my God, I already am so attached to her. Is there someone in your service whom you trust completely? No. Yes. Wait, who? The wiser answer was no, my lord. Yeah, that's what I said. Send him to question Sir Hugh. After that, you might want him to visit a certain armorer in the city. Man, this guy is so helpful to have around. What did Lord Arryn want? I always came to see the boy. What would you talk about? Then he started asking me about my mother. Oh, wait, was this kid maybe, is he like a kid of Lord Arryn's? Is he related to Lord Arryn? King Robert's bastard son. Oh my God. Holy Oh no! You oh, send no. this poor <laughs> to give me commands! Oh, poor girl. <gasps> <gasps> yes, frickin' destroy this man. The next time you raise a hand to me will be the last time you have hands. Yeah. Oh, 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 that went in such a better direction than I thought it would. I thought she was like, will be the last time you breathe, but no, will be the last time you have hands! I love her. What's my name? John Snow. And why is my surname Snow? You're a bastard from the north. Oh, is that what it, it means? Snow means bastard from the north? Man, people really in this time just did not like to let go of the fact that like, if you're a bastard, I just don't get it, man. You boys even remember the last winter. <laughs> Here we go again with winter. You boys still, and come the winter, you will die. It good is this speech like you know you guys were complaining about how you get less and less recruits every year and you're constantly losing people maybe it's because of guys like this you know i understand you got to be tough but you gotta be a little encouraging sometimes and actually freaking teach your people do you want to see your brother sitting on the iron throne i don't no yeah he couldn't lead an army even if my husband gave him one yeah honey he won't they call him the mountain the hound's older brother Sir Hugh of the Vale. Oh, geez. This is the guy that Ned needs to talk to, right? Oh, God. What if he dies? <laughs> that would be inconvenient. Just nobody hit the horses, okay? Nobody hit the horses. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Right in the freaking. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, dead. Oh, he's. 
Oh my god. You know, I was kind of joking before when I said, what if he died? That would be inconvenient. And then he died like that. Can we? Enough. I get it. Okay? He's dying. A horrible death. I understand, HBO. <laughs> my god. Oh, whoa. She Grace. came to see him? Your miss forcing you to kill the beast was extreme. Though sometimes we go to extremes where our children are concerned. No, it was unnecessary and despicable and unforgivable, actually. I'm sorry, my lord. We'll fill up every room. Oh my god. They are gonna meet up, aren't they? <laughs> oh boy. What is she gonna do? What is she gonna do? This man came into my house as a guest. Oh no. And there conspired to murder my son. Oh no. I call upon you to seize him, to await the king's justice. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't think he did that though. I don't think he did that though. <laughs> oh God! Ah! What a good ending! <laughs> wow, what a spectacular ending. What an epic speech. I was kind of wondering what she was building there, like if it was an intimidation tactic, like look at all these people around me who support me, but no, it was it was a tactic to get all those men to seize him. I knew something had to happen between the two of them, between Tyrion and Lady Stark, so I'm happy to see this happening now, although I really hope that certain questions get answered and maybe some things get clarified because at the end of the day, I really, really, really don't think Tyrion had anything to do with Bran, with the hit being put out on Bran the second time. I, I really don't think he had anything to do with the conspiring to commit murder. I think it was just uh, his dagger being used against him by probably his brother or his sister. I think those are the more likely options because they definitely seem more psychotic than him. He definitely seems to have a heart of some sort. And just the way he treated Bran when he saw him recently with giving him a gift, like he really, you can tell he has a soft spot in his heart for anybody who's been affected. Um, the way he, the word he used was crippled um, or disabled or anything like that. I think he also just has a soft spot in his heart for kids in general because the way he was interacting with the children um, at the breakfast table in that one episode. You can tell he really likes kids, um, just not awful kids like Joffrey. <laughs> I'm interested to see where everything goes from here. Like if, if Tyrion will join forces with the Starks, if things will get clarified anytime soon, or if he's just gonna be held in prison for a while. I don't really know, <laughs> quite honestly. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this series so far. It's definitely hard to keep tabs on everything and stay up to date with names and stuff like that, but I feel like I'm starting to understand things a bit more, starting to grab onto little tidbits and pieces of information here or there and starting to put pieces together and slowly starting to remember people's names <laughs> and pay attention to what's happening. But I'm definitely really enjoying this show thus far and I definitely don't think it's gonna be hard to binge watch it, quite honestly. I think the only bar that I have when it comes to binge watching it is the fact that I have to get ready, like I have to put makeup on and do my hair and like light my room and actually sit down and film it, which is a little bit more than just putting an episode on and watching it casually. If I didn't have to go, I'd probably watch like another two more episodes, no problem. So I'm really enjoying this series, really like it. Have a feeling uh, I'm gonna get attached to some characters that might die and I'll probably cry a lot, but it's okay, because we got tissues again. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying this series so far and I'm super stoked to be sharing this with you guys finally. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and lets me know that you guys wanna see more content like this. Make sure to stay tuned for the next part, of course, and subscribe if you want to. Until the next one, stay golden, bye.